I obsessed about dogs when I was six years old and completed several copies of the Golden Stamp Book of Dogs. I neatly colored the illustrations of the dogs using sharply pointed scholastic grade color pencils and carefully adhered their matching stamps. That same year, I drew countless pictures of Big Bad Wolf from the 1933 Silly Symphony animated short film entitled Three Little Pigs. My parents could have covered our kitchen and bathroom floors with multiple layers of my Big Bad Wolf renderings. My third significant first grade obsession was the human body. I crafted two-dimensional anatomical torso models using the cardboard that came inside the packages of Hanes pantyhose my mom purchased at Janung's department store. I drew copies of diagrams depicting internal organs and cut away the excess cardboard with scissors. I arranged my cutouts on a fresh piece of cardboard using a diagram of the internal organs as a reference tool. I marked the outline of a human torso around them, darkened my lines with a black felt tip pen, and cut the torso out of the cardboard. I repeated this ritual as many times as mom opened a new pair of pantyhose. There were occasions I convinced her to open a package unnecessarily because I couldn't wait for her to get a run in a pair of pantyhose to make another anatomical torso model. This was a never-ending cycle, and I drove her batty. Four or five years later, I had my first planetarium experience at the Hudson River Museum in Yonkers. I created my own private planetarium with sketches I made of all the planets. I cut the planets out with scissors and hung them on the walls in my bedroom because I could not reach the ceiling. My favorite planet was Jupiter, and I dreamed of sinking into its great red spot. My preoccupation with the atomic bomb does not seem strange to me because zeroing in on one thing is what I do. Do you know if Walmart sells plutonium?